Hi, this is T. Payton, and I wanted to show you a little bit more about Shot Splitter 10. Now, why do we even need Shot Splitter? Well, let me show you this scenario. Now, this is what I showed at NAB 2017 when I introduced Shot Splitter. I had taken an event with a just about an hour's long of uh, clips that I had done of an interview. I used Movie Slate to sync everything up, so I was able to get all of my scene and take and even note data information into my Final Cut 10 event. So everything's all beautiful, right? Well, not really, because look what happens when I want to actually sync this. So here for each shot, so look at 3.2 for example and 3.1, I've got one video clip and two audio clips. So because of that, I'm gonna to need to make a multi-cam clip to sync my dual system audio. So let's go ahead and create a new multicam clip. I'm just gonna use the default. Now, unfortunately I need to name it, which is kind of a drag, but that's okay. I'll name it 3.2 and then it goes ahead and syncs. Now, look what happened here. My metadata is gone. If I turn this back off of and just say, let's just go ahead and sort by name, I can see a little bit more of what's happening here. So my multicam clip that I just lost, Where's my multicam clip? There it is. Uh, three, two. As you can see, look at look at what three, two here had. It had scene and take, a notes field, and it had keywords as well. But look what happened to my new clip. All I've got is just the name that I manually entered, and all my metadata is gone. Hmm. Bummer. So metadata is lost when you create a multicam clip or even a synchronized clip. So that's one issue, but the other issue is the fact that, wow, I'm gonna to need to sync every one of these shots manually, and it could take a while. And a couple of these, I wasn't able to match up properly for whatever reason, and I've kind of lost that. So this would take a ton of work to manually sync these, plus to add all the metadata back in, especially the keywords. So there's gotta be a better way to pull this off. Turns out, the Final Cut 10 multi-cam creation and angle editor can actually do all of this. Let me show you how it works. I'm just gonna select all the clips and I'm going to create a new multi-cam clip. Now I'm gonna change my settings because I wanna do something a little bit different. One thing I've done is I've jam synced my time code in post, which means that based on this slate, I have been able to change the creation dates to the nearest second. So what I can do now is when I create my multicam clip, I can use angle clip ordering by content created, which will get me right in the ballpark. An ang angle sync also at content created. And then I still turn on audio synchronization. So watch what happens. This is on, I'll just call this batch sync. Now this is about an hour and a half of shooting, well, actually it looks like it's two hours total of footage, about an hour and a half total. And you would think it would take a little while to sync and it didn't take much time at all. But let's check and see what we have. Let's open up this batch sync and look here in the angle editor. Oh, check it out. Look at this. It's almost like Final Cut knew what to do. Well, it kind of did. Everything is synced up perfectly and the audio is synced perfectly as well down here. So this is excellent. All we need to do is just take these individual synced up shots and split them, hence shot splitter. So let me show you how this works. Uh, once I've done this, I need to just remove any orphaned files. I, I, what I mean is just an orphan clip. So in this case, these angles don't match up with the same number of video angles. I'm sorry, same number of audio. So I need to delete those. I need to delete this too. And I'm just gonna look through this real quickly and see if I see any other orphans that are around. Oh, there's one. Now an orphan clip is probably just, we were doing a take and, um, on video and didn't get that on audio. So it was just a false take or something we didn't need. This looks all clean for here. Just kind of finish up. Okay, excellent. So my batch sync is uh, completed here in this multicam clip. Now let's go ahead and export this XML and
I've already done this a couple times. So now I'm going to open up Shot Splitter. And one thing to note about the current Shot Splitter, and this is just preliminary interface. Uh, we're hoping to have a much more streamlined um, way of working. But uh, right now I'll just go ahead and select this XML here. And then hit Split. And I'll rename this with Adding Split. Obviously in the real version you're not going to have to do all this stuff. And that is that easy. So then drag this into Final Cut. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up in this event and see what happens. Hmm. Look, I have a brand new event. Let's go ahead and turn off my timeline and look what's inside of it. All of my multicam clips. And look what's there. All my notes and scene and take are there as well. So if we change this to view by scene, or group rather by scene, that we can see everything we need. And inside of it, everything's all synced up. And as you can see here, look, I've got my uh, 7D as my video channel, I mean video angle and my H6 boom, my audio. And everything's perfectly synced up. So this is pretty fantastic that all the metadata is there. So if we look at this particular clip 8.2, we can twirl down, twirl down and see all the keywords are still there, which is great and retained. So what ShotSplitter does is it actually takes the first angle of the multicam clip and it uses that metadata and pulls it in to the multicam clip itself. And then obviously splitting off each individual scene or shot. The keywords are retained, so for example, I can go over here and say, hey, where are all my circle takes? And I can see all my circle takes. And you'll notice this as well. Look at that favorite. You mean favorites come through too? Yeah, they do. So I can show my favorites, and all my favorites are just as they were uh, before syncing took place. So this is Shot Splitter X. It enables or unlocks multicam batch syncing in Final Cut 10. And it's very cool, and I think it will improve your workflow quite a bit. Thanks.